Worldwide most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Well, good Wednesday afternoon, mid-Michigan. It is warm out there. In fact, some would already say it's hot. Now, it's just afternoon, and we're talking about temperatures that have already made it well into the upper 80s. In fact, 90 already in Cairo, 90 there in Oscoda. So a lot of areas across mid-Michigan are very, very warm already. And again, it is only afternoon here. So these temperatures that we have, uh, knowing that they're already going to continue to warm up for us, and we have the humidity out there, the heat index values for this afternoon are going to be quite warm. This is a check of the dew point, which tells us how much moisture we have and is related to humidity. So knowing that we have these dew points here in the middle and upper 60s, a few lower 70s out there, that's putting us in the sticky to uncomfortable range here for us. And a lot of folks, as we go into these later afternoon and evening hours with temperatures into the 90s, it's going to get really uncomfortable for some areas because uh, when you combine these two, this is when you get the heat index values already just afternoon here of 95 degrees in Sag so as we go later into the afternoon, we'll watch this continue to increase for us as those temperatures warm and we still have that humidity. Now, there is the opportunity for some relief. We're building some cloud cover over mid Michigan right now. The puffy cumulus clouds that we typically see during the summer and you can see as we warm up through the day, they're starting to develop out there, giving us a chance for some off and on shade, but also a chance at some showers. You'll notice here across the northwest, just outside of our uh, area here to the north of uh, Houghton Lake. If you pay close enough attention as this builds, we also get a couple of blips out there on the right. Radar. So what we're seeing here are some showers and even eventually some thunderstorms developing out of these growing cumulus fields. And so what that means is going later into this afternoon, we've got a chance uh, for some relief in the form of some downpours. But also we're tracking a cold front back there in Wisconsin that'll be moving into mid Michigan overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. Two forms of relief for us. So let's hope uh, that you find yourself under at least one of them, which uh, we all will be for tomorrow. Now, here's what it looks like on the hour by hour going into this afternoon. We've got those initial showers and storms developing out of those growing cumulus fields that we were just looking at out there. These downpours moving throughout our northern counties and our western counties there as well. We'll have some uh, chances for heavier rain, some lightning, potentially some damaging winds for a few areas. Very isolated threat for that. And it'll be off and on as we go throughout the rest of our evening. It is possible that some of these drift down towards the Tri-Cities, potentially the tip of the thumb. More than likely, I think that the Flint area will be on the drier side for much of the evening. It might not be until a little bit later that uh, the Flint area finally sees some of those showers and storms move through. And then eventually we find ourselves in a bit of a dry period as we go into the overnight, but then early tomorrow morning we'll pick up those chances for showers and storms again as that cold front comes through. Behind that cold front, we're talking lots of relief. Temperatures cooling down quite a bit into the upper 70s and lower 80s by Thursday afternoon going into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Also really knocking out that humidity for us as well, especially going into Friday. We're going to have some beautiful weather to end our week and start our weekend. Next chance for rain will be Sunday into Monday. Stay with WNEM-TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.